This is Damon L. Jacobs. I'm here at the Hustling Season 2 premiere at the Tribeca Cinemas in downtown New York City with the beautiful, eloquent, and well-dressed Jessica Press of Hustling. How are you today? I'm good. I'm so excited. Yeah? yeah I'm yeah. really excited. It's been a long road. It has been. Yeah. Now, your character has become pretty close to Ryan in the series. Oh, yeah. Um, some might say, and I think this will be more clear in season two, if you've even used the word girlfriend. You know what? I don't want to give any titles to anything, but um, you'll have to tune into season two and see what happens with Ryan and Liv. Mm -hmm. It's very juicy. One yes. is very juicy. And one of the things I really <laughs> admire about the series is that there's not an easy set of labels for anybody. Nobody fits into these easy, limited classifications in yeah. terms of their sexuality, in terms of their mm -hmm. profession. Yeah. But tell us more about Liv and about your character. Um, my character, she's very complicated. Um, as we learned in season one, she also herself was a hustler. <laughs> hey. And, um, <laughs> you know, she, she was down that line of work and she had some issues. And, you know, in season one, she was really trying to show Ryan the light and show him that he could get out of it and find his passion which was cooking and all that and and really you know give him that support and then in season two she unravels and you see a darker side of her that you really didn't see in season one I feel like she was the good girl in season one and now you really like her layers come off and you see what she's all about. She's kind of trouble. And and what's driving some of that trouble? Things from her past or? Yes, definitely her past, but also her present. She's involved in things <laughs> that you will find out in season two and you tune in. <laughs> and um, yeah, she, she just is more complicated than we thought. Wow. Yeah. Before hustling came your way, were you familiar with this genre of web series and people expressing their creative stories on the internet? Yeah, I really wasn't. This is my first web series and it's been such a pleasure. I mean, Sebastian is a visionary. He's been amazing and literally from day one, he, he did everything himself. I mean, he would like act and then jump behind the camera and direct it and film it and it was crazy. And then it was such a blessing season two to have Nat Kramer and um, all the amazing people that really came in for season two and just brought it to a whole other level. So I just feel really grateful for everyone that supported us and they're believing in us. So. Let me ask Liv, what would her happy ending be? Well, I hope she or lives. Her yes, okay. <laughs> I hope she That's lives. That's always preferable. No. That's um, always a good thing. Let's see, what, what do I hope really for her? Want? I, I want her to find peace. Mm -hmm. I want her to find happiness. Um, she's troubled, so I really hope she, she finds her path and um, finds happiness, whatever that may be for her. Great. Yeah. And as we have talked about, season two has shows a lot more skin. Now, Sebastian has promised the boys are going to be showing a lot of skin. But what about what about Jessica Press? Oh yeah, Press? they'll be happy. More skin with Jessica. <laughs> yes. Yeah. More how skin. do you how do you feel about doing those kinds of scenes? Um. You know what? I I'm comfortable. I did a show in Las Vegas with Jerry Mitchell, the amazing Jerry Mitchell, and um, it was you know a Vegas show, so I feel pretty good about that Great. stuff. And right. um, yeah, there, tune in. There's definitely good stuff to say. Awesome. Yeah. I'm here at the Hustling Season 2 premiere in Tribeca with Sharon Washington, beautiful Sharon Washington, hey, who is here, who plays the mother of Ryan. Not that you look old enough to be playing oh, the mother of anybody. You are so sweet. Much less a 40-year-old porn star. Well, she had him very young. Yeah. She was young and confused. And they're actually, you know, it's interesting. Um, Sebastian and I were talking about it, and it's more like, and please forgive my hoarseness, I just closed an off-Broadway show yesterday, oh, wow. so, um, so I'm a little hoarse from that, but um, Sebastian and I were talking about it, and I think they're more like, they're growing up together, like she made mistakes, he's making some mistakes, and you'd think that would kind of bond them, but it actually, it's a conflict, and um, I just think it's great, I mean, I think she really, you know, we, kids have kids when they're 16, 17, 18, and it, you know, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't make for the best relationships, but they're trying to work that out. And what we learn early in season two, I'm not giving anything away here, is that um, your character has been struggling. Yes. At some substance abuse issues. Yes, yes. And oftentimes, you know, mothers or fathers who are struggling with substance abuse issues aren't always so present for their children. Exactly. Um, which sort of helps to help us understand 
right, the character of Ryan a exactly, lot more. Exactly, exactly. So she, if I'm understanding this right, uh, had some alcohol and Percocet in her system and ran a stop sign, is this right? Yeah, you know, she was going a little fast. A little fast. And, you know, she tried to talk her way out of it, but mm -hmm. apparently she had had some other offenses and... Um, so they made her take a little um, trip to the rehab. Mm -hmm. And um, she's really, she's feeling like she hasn't had a connection with Ryan in a while. And she really is, in her own way, trying to mend fences. I think she is, this is her way of trying to reach out. She's just not good at it. Mm -hmm. She's just, she, they haven't had a relationship and she's kind of tiptoeing around it. And I think she, she wants her son, but she just doesn't know how to go about it, which I think is part of the conflict, which, make, which makes it so great. And I think so realistic as well. Yeah. So they're, realistic. They're both tiptoeing around. They haven't seen each other in 20 years. They're tiptoeing around this relationship. Wow. So it's, um, it's been really, it's been really interesting to play and Sebastian has written it so well. I just, I love the scenes together. This is my first time seeing it tonight, and wow. um, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with now, it. Now, tell me somewhat about your stage experience and your background. And, yes, and um, I came to this project through Joe Lopick at McCorkle uh -huh. Casting, and uh -huh. McCorkle Cast me. I do a lot of off-Broadway theater. As I said, I have a little frog in my throat. Coleman Domingo um, mm -hmm. is a playwright, actor. We just closed his play, Wild with Happy down at the Public Theater yesterday. So we've been doing eight shows a week of that. And I play another crazy mother. I, this is my season of crazy mothers. What's that about? Um, uh, uh, my, son, uh, uh, my son, who is trying to figure out what to do with his mother's ashes, and he's going through some mother-son con... It's just, it's crazy. But it's funny. It was a really funny wow. show. So that's most of my stage. Wow. Uh, Have you ever done a web series or even knew much no. about the web series genre before no, this? No, I, I... No, I, not at all. This is my wow. first web series, wow. and I'm very excited about it. Great. Um, and I'm excited to work... I, I, I read the script... And I had a conversation with Sebastian, and I knew immediately. I mean, I do a lot of young young moms, young moms, um, but they're all fairly um, straightforward. And and this was a chance for me to really step outside the box and do something with Sebastian that I think is really, uh, really, really interesting and really well written and really funny and sexy and just. I think it's really, it's really a great project, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing her evolution. I, I love that. One of the things I love about this show, Hustling specifically, is that none of these characters fall into any set of categories. Exactly. They're not all one way or another, no easy set of categories. And I see this in, in your character, how she tries to reach out to her son, but just kind of sabotages herself yes. along the way. Exactly. And I think that is so natural and such a part of... Yes. Uh, you know, mother-son relationships. And it's an obstacle. It gives yeah. you an obstacle to play against. They're really, they really are trying to reach out to one another. They just can't. And you just, as an audience member, you're hoping that there'll be some kind of connection between the two of them. They're both trying so hard. Yeah. And, and hopefully we'll see down the yeah. road if they make that connection or not. Great. So. One last question. There's yes. a lot of cooking that goes on hustling, a lot of food. Have you had the benefits of getting any of that food that we that see throughout the Sebastian series? Sebastian can cook up a storm. Yeah. So the set, <laughs> set food is pretty extraordinary. So there's always some craft services is always a little special when Sebastian's cooking. All so. right. Good to know. <laughs> Here with the beautiful, gorgeous Daphne Rubin Vega. How are you? I'm really good. Wow. How are you? I, I'm amazed. It's so great to see you. I'm, I'm amazed to get to meet you, and I'm so impressed with how this web series has evolved and how you've been part of this from the very beginning. Well, I, I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I've known Sebastian a long time. I know him to be, um, you know, from, from Rocky, from like the guy, like I don't know him and he's just a dancer and he plays Rocky and he's really cute in his underwear too. Um, he wrote it, he built it, he made it, he shot it. I just, he's my hero. I love him. Oh, wow. Um, and hearing that from the woman who originated the role of Mimi in Rent. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> and he, so, so being that you're from a stage background, what's it like to be on a web series, to actually be part of this kind of new creative medium? It's a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun to just, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And really? yeah, and just like, you know, shooting the sort of style of like shooting, stopping and going and staying revved up in a moment and like. Uh -huh. um, Is it harder for you without having an audience directly giving you energy or feedback or, or is it just different? 
It's different. Just different. It's just different. Yeah. It's not harder. No. Mm -hmm. But you know, getting you know, when when you have live people, it's it's incomparable. Yeah. But you know, it's still a lot of fun, especially when you're working and playing with people that you love. Great. Yeah. Now in season one, most of what your character was doing was chasing Ryan because he was late on his rent. That's most of what she was doing was chasing him down the stairwell, right? What can you preview for us about season two? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Um, no, that's that's so Sofia Vergara. Thank you, Sofia. Um, you were there thank first. Thank you, Sofia. I borrowed it again. Yeah. Uh, back. Uh, no, I. Um, food. Lots of food. Lots of food. Mira All right. para eso. And speaking of food. All right. Okay. <laughs> so he's gonna feed you instead of pay you rent. Is that the idea? That that. Uh... I'm not telling. Okay. All right.